In this video, we are going to demonstrate Holy Ghost, a ransomware strain that has been seen in the wild since approximately June 2021. Several variants of Holy Ghost have been developed in that time, with each iteration becoming more functional and increasingly insidious. In this case, we are going to execute the latest known variant from April 2022, which has updated encryption functionality as well as a method for achieving persistence. For this purpose, we have set up a test machine with silence optics in audit-only mode to allow this ransomware to run. It is important to notice that Holy Ghost needs to be executed with administrator privileges to affect this target. When executed, it pops open a command window which tries to connect to a server-based URL. If that fails, then switches to uh, intranet mode. And right after achieving successful connection, it displays each file being copied, encrypted, and subsequently renamed. It also creates a scheduled task called Locker Task to achieve persistence on the victim's machine. Upon completion of the encryption process, it places the ransom node on the desktop with further instructions. Silence Optics can identify evidence of the initial intranet connection as well as the attempted remote logins with the credentials placed within the process. Through our root cause analysis, we can conduct a deeper dive on specifics for this attack. We can see all the steps taken by Holy Ghost, including the scheduled task created on the system for persistence, as well as the use of net use with the credentials coded within the uh, executable. By taking a proactive and preventative approach to EDR, Silence Optics can potentially stop this attack before it tries to encrypt the system or propagate through the network. Here we have a test system with Silence Optics, but this time with a prevention policy in place. If we try to execute Holy Ghost with administrator privileges, we can see how it is stopped at the EVR level before it encrypts the files on the system. If we apply a prevention-first approach to endpoint protection, then Silence Protect can prevent Holy Ghost in pre-execution before this ransomware can act on its first instruction. Let's copy the same set of files all of the different versions that we have seen from Holy Ghost and let's try to execute them. As you can notice, we can stop this threat and all of its variants at the earliest possible stage in the attack chain. Prevention is possible with BlackBerry.